Mara's Christmas tree! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because last year I didn't decorate my Christmas tree uh, yeah. on the video because it was very small. So. Yeah, true. Now she's got a new one, so it's very exciting. I have a new tree, it's still small. Which is a little disappointing, but we'll get into this later, but I'm very excited! Yeah, we're in her house, we got glammed up! Yeah! You know, we need to look good, we like to glam up a <laughs> look little bit. A, a bit extra every day, you know? <laughs> a little extra for uh, putting up the Christmas tree, why not? Yeah. So I'm thinking of putting up my Christmas tree here in this corner where the pampas grass is. However, this situation is This situation is a no-go. Eye-pleasing. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I never really liked this, uh, but my boyfriend likes a lot of books. To be honest, this whole shelf is my books. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna remove these books and make we, it like a yeah, Christmassy... Them. No. It's just too colorful. It's too colorful for my vibes. Like, as you can see, I have green vibes. Obviously, as you can tell, it's gonna be a green theme today. Green theme. Green theme. I don't know. I you know what you need to get? You need to get a bookshelf that's closed door. So it's like nice and clean and aesthetically True. pleasing. If you have this many colorful books. This bookshelf is um, kind of hammered to the wall, so I can't even remove it. Yeah. I can't even take it away. So look at that bonsai tree. It's like thriving and it's growing. Yeah. I think maybe we'll remove those books. Although I think my boyfriend will be upset. Let's remove Although he's not them. reading them every day, so... How about we remove them and we, I don't know, like, put them somewhere, hide them? Well, maybe. So my original idea was to put the Christmas tree here by the window, but here is Biggie's food and his fountain and I don't like it by the window. Like, because my sofa is like here when I'm standing and I don't want to be, I don't know, sitting on the sofa and having my Christmas tree at the back of it. I think you need it here. I need it here, like, you know, when I'm sitting, the TV is there, kind of like, like that. Like here? Yeah. Do I look like a Christmas tree? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> look at my painting. This is kind of like a little house tour, look. This is my little house tour. So my layout is a bit different, as you can see. Yeah. I've got this kitchen that's got this kind of weird separating thing. And here is the mirror. But I don't mind the separation because here I put my mirror. Yeah, space for a mirror. My amazing mirror from White Company. All right. It's like super tall. These are outfits for today. Yeah, wearing some leather skirts, some cute little tops. I'm wearing this bodysuit from, what is this, from Revolve. A green bra underneath, you know, for a pop of green. Pop of green. Some tights. My skirt is from Asus, actually. Yeah. And this I don't know, I forgot. It's quite old. <laughs> so here is all the decorations. All my deranged bubbles. And the Christmas tree. And my beautiful Christmas tree. This is the six foot European silver fur. It's got the most beautiful color. It looks really pretty. It looks very real. This is like the most realistic tree ever. Yeah. And it's got lights as well, so I love that. Very nice. Okay, so we made the space for the tree and we removed the books, as you can see. Yeah, it looks much better now. It looks cleaner. It know? looks more aesthetically pleasing. I put them all in the drawers so they're nicely stored away. Yeah, and then later we're gonna put some maybe Christmas decorations on it, some ornaments. Yeah, some little ornaments, lots of candles. Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Okay, so for my Christmas tree skirt, I got this one and I'm absolutely in love. It's really nice. It literally matches the floor perfectly. It's from Dunlem and I paid 30 pounds. Oh, really? And I really like this design. It's like different than the one that Claude has got. Yeah, it's very sturdy as well. It's kind of like a wooden effect. We're gonna put it here where the tree is going. Yeah, I think it, that is gonna be good. It literally, it's like the same color as the floor. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. Should we put the crystal tree? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put the legs and I'm thinking of actually putting this Christmas tree on a box because it's a little too short for my liking. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna use this Tom Ford box, not box, book. Is it gonna fit? It's 
unfortunately they didn't they didn't let me exchange it so yeah. we're just gonna have to work with this tree i think it's fine for this flag i wish i got seven foot i really did but because this flag is kind of small me and my boyfriend was like oh uh, six foot is fine you know it's like 182 centimeters i thought okay it's gonna be perfectly fine but it actually looks like me i guess we need to make the top it a bit bigger so it's gonna make the tree look bigger I guess. that's why i'm putting it on the box so you know we're adding like at least five centimeters right let's put it on then okay where is the so this is the first part by the way i actually put lights on it I decided I needed extra lights, so like a few days ago I wrapped the lights around the tree so you kind of can't see them. It looks big! What are you talking about? It looks big. We're gonna have to fix the lights later because you can still see them. It's like quite that. spiky. Yeah, it's very spiky. But what I did is I bought three different sets of lights and I put different sets of light on each uh, part so then when yeah, it's easier to kind of... When I'm putting it in the box, it's kind of ready for next year. Yeah. Um, and I use these kind of um, green kind of these things. I use these to secure the, the wires. wires, but I didn't do it on these two parts, so we might have to... Oh, yes. really? We'll see. But I don't want the wires showing, so... We're actually gonna open up this first part, so it's kind of easier, I feel. Yeah. Rather than opening up when the tree is already open you know, open fully. Yeah, it's actually easier like that. Yesterday. 
these gold ones, they kind of like fill it up a bit more. Yeah, because yeah, they're more of a leaf style. They're a bit more like thicker. Uh, 
um, ribbons you need to get the ones with wires. Yeah, because two years ago I had this one with no wire and look at that. And then look at the one with There's wire. no life, there's no, like you can't even bend it. So this is what it looks like with the ribbons. Very nice. It's very nice actually. It's starting to look good together. Yeah, it's starting to look better. I also have these really big flowers. Where did you get them? You got them so long time ago, right? I got them last year for Christmas, but I never even used it because they came after I already put my Christmas tree. Yeah. And they're really pretty. You can have open them up like this. Look how pretty these are. The I think I'll use these. The problem with these is that they have like silver in them. Yeah, and I'm not doing a silver tree. Oops, I just broke it. Oh. That's fine. We'll use these. They're very glittery. But look how pretty these are if you like open them up. I kind of broke the back. Yeah, because you don't have anything silver, so we're not gonna use them. Well, maybe next year. Hold that. I really love these. Oh, cute! I actually wanted to steal them from Laura, but she didn't let me. Oh, I think that looks cute. I mean, it's a bit big. Maybe you need to push it in a little bit more. But then it's gonna stick. Bubbles and we're gonna put them all because we need to take them out of bubbles and everything. What 
So we have some more here from the range. Ooh. These are actually silver. Oh, I don't know why. I thought they were gold. This looks nice. Wow. Yeah, these are very pretty. And then I've got this color, which looked more green when I was buying it, but it's more like bluish. But I think it's gonna go with the vibe. Here we've got all the bubbles. Look at this one. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's more! I forgot! I forgot about the marble marble bubble. Oh, the marble! Because I was looking at my painting and I was thinking, you know, it's gonna match the painting. True, it's a different, you know, different I vibe. I think it's all gonna go nicely together. Yeah. I think my favorite is this one. Yeah, and the other gold. And this one. And this one. And this one. Hmm. We're gonna open these up. What else is there? I'm not sure. Oh, another gold one. So, more of those. These are actually, most of them are glass. So you need to be careful. All of them are glass. Yeah. We've got all these marbles are so pretty. Look at it. So cool. Yeah, what do you think of my theme? Very nice, actually. I quite like it. Yeah. It's different, you know? Let's put them up. Right, we've got all the bubbles ready to be hung. Right, where should we put it? Like, these are very special, so they need to be like up in the front. All of them are special, I feel. Because I only have like four or five of each. You know? Where should this be? Let's put the green ones, shall we? Oh yeah, the green ones. These ones. These big boys. The big John, not me, John, the Fennec ones. Okay, I'll put this one here. Maybe this should be here. These ones, these are from last year, from actually two years ago. One of them broke, so I only have two. But they're so pretty, look. They're very nice. Maybe we should put them somewhere in the front. This is so far the tree. What do you think? I like it. Nice. I think I'm gonna put this one here. This one is bothering me. I feel like we keep swapping the bubbles, you know, looking at the placement, seeing what looks good. Yeah. It's like a very important. Because if you don't have a lot of bubbles, you obviously want them to be in the perfect area. Yeah, like spread even evenly. So we need to keep like changing the positions. Yeah, I like this one here. Okay. Cause it like it needs to be in the front. Should I do it on that side? I feel like oh, it needs to be on this side. Cause that's the main side for pictures and everything. It needs to be in the eye. Well, this is in the eye when I'm walking into the house. Yeah, they're like tiny. I actually have 
it needs that much ornament. Yeah, it's actually really nice. I yeah, like it's, it. it's very, you know, cute. Yeah. And like classy and beautiful. Yeah. We're, we're gonna give you like a super close up so you can see all the ornaments, but they look really nice. I feel like from far you can't even see. Yeah, from far it's a bit. It nasty. looks like maybe it needs more, but I don't think so. I think it's nice. I don't think it needs more. It's very sophisticated. You want the empty. I mean, it's not even empty, like, that's a lot of. Yeah, it's not things. empty. I think it's perfect. A lot of things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot these! I forgot the little... Oh, the presents! I also have a little present. Only one box because I don't think I need more. You don't need more. Let me like try and fix it. Yeah. I you actually don't think you can see. You can't quite see. We'll show you a close-up later. Yeah. yeah. What else do we have? Oh, shall we put some ornaments on this little yeah, shelf? We've got these. I mean, what I need these? Oh yeah, I have these big ones. Big pine cones that have like kind of silver on it. So maybe if we kind of put them like that, and then we put a candle next to it, free it's enough. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we've got like these little. Um, we've got these things. Oh wait, this one needs batteries. We've got this one. Let me bring the batteries. This looks cute here. We also have these. Oh yeah, these are really pretty. Right. So this one I usually have on my coffee table. They all light up actually. Yeah. Oh! So put this one here. This one maybe. No, oh, maybe this one here. And then, oh, I think this one needs fresh batteries. Yeah, it's a bit dead. Oh, and we have this one as well. This one usually goes on the floor. This big boy. Oh, hello! What are you doing in here? You've got glitter on your face! Oh my god! Oh, I think he's hungry. Look how fat he is. Oh, your little baby's hungry! Yes? You want some treats? Yes? I'm gonna feed him now. She's so fat! Oh my goodness! You're so fat! Hello! <laughs> Come on! I'll give you foodie! Oh, there you go! The sound he makes when he eats is like my favorite thing. <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy, Biggie. So we put all the ornaments. This is what it looks like. Nice. Cute and light up. I really like this um, pine cones. A few little books. This one is cute. Yeah. And we've got some stuff here. It looks nice. It looks much better than that with the books. Yeah, the colorful books. <laughs> and this is the tree. We also have these ornaments. I put them. We've put all the lights. I actually need to put the, the candle candles. on. Oh, and we've got these gold candles as well. Oh, yeah, let's put them on. So, Laura also got these from where? From Waitress, right? Yeah, Waitress. To put it in these little things. Oh, cute. I always have oh. candles on in my house. And this one goes here, this big one. Oh, yeah, bring that big one over. This big one as well. I like this because they're like, you know, they're not like out. The candle's not out. So it's a bit yeah. more safer. It's safer for the cats as well. So yeah, this is the tree. I really like these big flowers. What's your favorite bubble? Uh, my favorite bubble, like I said, is I this one. I like the green one and gold that one. one. Yeah, the gold one. So far, I'm really happy with everything, how it yeah. turned out. God, I'm so relieved. We finally did all the Christmas decorations. I know. Oh, and I want to show you this side of the house, although I hate this sofa with the bottom of my heart. This is the sofa from the apartment. It's like so ugly and these cushions, they're like so flimsy. I mean, it's not too bad. But I wanted to show you these cute little cushions that I have. These are from Sainsbury's and these ones I got from Amazon. And then I've got this cute little um, blanket from Homesense. It's a bit Christmassy, as yeah, you can see. Yeah, nice and cozy. Wait, this sofa, you will never see this sofa because <laughs> I hate it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Nice and Christmassy. The blue light is kind of 
getting yeah, on my nerves. I'm, I'm not sure whether I like it. Maybe we should switch it off. Like, if we switch it off, it's just gonna... Like that. Yeah, <laughs> unless we get some other light there. I don't know. Unless I put... Maybe the small one? Mm. This here. And maybe this one here. Yeah. Kind of like that. The, the blue, blue. Yeah, that's better. Blue Alberton is not really doing it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, looks cute and cozy. Actually, let's put on the little, little uh, candles on so you can see it in full effect. Oh, yeah, and this one you didn't show. Oh, yeah. This little situation. Mm -hmm. Situation here. Oh, it's too good. Tag. Cute. Cute! I think today is the day we should have some mood wine. Probably. And yeah. celebrate these beautiful trees because I'm very happy. We should celebrate it because the job is done. The job is finally done and yeah. I'm, I'm, very I'm quite tired, not gonna lie. Yeah, we've been on our feet all day. It's like five o'clock. What time is it? We didn't even have dinner. I just realized six or something. Six? Yeah, we've been, you know, working hard. <laughs> oh my days, we've been working hard. We need a break, I think. We need a break, uh, but yeah, we're probably gonna have mulled wine and maybe get skies over. Yeah. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air Okay, so we're at Claudius now, we decided to have a little gathering Yes, we're gonna have some mulled wine finally We're gonna have some mulled wine, we went to the shop actually, but we didn't film it because we were just tired We just we ran quickly We got loads of snacks, okay? Loads of crisps, like berries, fruits, cheese, and we're gonna make some mulled wine We actually have it here, so yes. of the ingredients Let's prepare everything because everyone is coming here soon so here are our ingredients for mulled wine. We actually got mulled wine. All you need is mulled wine, okay? Don't fool yourself and don't make mulled wine with normal wine because it's not gonna have the same taste. Yeah, unless you have all the spices, which we don't. Unless you are a pro chef at making mulled wine. We are not, so we're doing this uh, shortcut and we are gonna add some oranges to make it look pretty. Oranges and it gives a nice kind of orange flavor and some cinnamon sticks. And obviously we're gonna add some more, uh, you know, percentage to this little mix. <laughs> because that's what it says on the, you know, recipe. recipe to add some uh, brandy or container or orange liqueur. Yeah, basically it says to add orange liqueur. So it's gonna give a, a nice little, you know, kick to it and some nice orange flavor. Yeah, but mm, I'm excited for this mulled wine. Maybe we're gonna cut up these things and put it in the pan ready for everyone to come. Yeah, maybe we can't start cooking it yet. No, we can't start because the problem with mulled wine is if you start boiling it, it's gonna lose all the alcohol. Yeah, the most important thing is you can't have boiled mulled wine. It just has to be warm, like simmered or I don't know how to call it. It's squirting everywhere. I feel like orange smell is like Christmas to me. Mm. Those are a bit too chunky, Claudia. What is this? Laura, what is that exactly? Oh um, <laughs> my god. This, this is my house. Like, that's not, that's, this is not how you're supposed to even Shall I cut it? these in, um, wet? Mm. Look at these oranges. So pretty. Okay, pour in the wine. We can let that soak in nicely. Ooh. We're gonna make some tzatziki. Yeah. Um, for the dips. We for the dips of all of our crisps that we have. Oh my gosh, we have so many crisps. It's crazy. <laughs> we couldn't decide on the flavor. The best are Watsits, obviously. And then yeah. we've got some Doritos. Oh my gosh, we didn't get any salsa. Or cheese. Cheese dip for Doritos. Oh, that's my favorite. Maybe it's too late now. This is like the best thing. <laughs> the camera is too close up and the lighting is quite awful. It's supposed to be like this. You should be supposed to put this in a big one. A bigger bowl. That's fine, I guess. So for our yogurt, we're adding some dried mint and dill. Actually, we're using fresh dill. 
Yeah, fresh dill. Fresh dill is very important, you know. That's a lot, Laura. Easy. No, no it's not. Okay, so here is our table full of goodies and snacks. We've got some fruits, lots of crisps, some cheese. This is my favorite cheese, by the way. It's like cranberry. It's got cranberry. We didn't do a lot because we don't know if anyone is hungry, but we just need to make the mold one and then we're good. Ooh, some berries and loads of crisps. Yummy. These are actually the best grapes ever. They're called cotton candy grapes from Waitrose. And they're so sweet and they taste like candy. If you haven't tried them, then you should go and get them right now. Run!